Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, day three in Rwanda. Uh, just, just had my breakfast and um, just looking at the um, real estate market here for the past, let's say, um, two years. And um, I want investors to understand something about investing in real estate. There are always factors that will affect your real estate investment that are beyond your control. And as an investor, you must understand how to uh, position yourself, protect your investment against some of these factors. Now, um, the um, tourism market in Kigali, uh, particularly, have increased in the past nine months tremendously. And um, that's because a lot of Nigerians now want to go on um, holidays, on vacations, on tours, uh, who initially or, or previously have been visiting Dubai are now considering other African countries like Kigali, like um, Zanzibar, like uh, Marrakesh. And definitely, definitely, these have boomed um, the tourism market in a lot of these countries. In the past eight months now, these cities, Kigali, Zanzibar, that have experienced an increase in the um, numbers of Nigerian tourists that have been coming to these countries. And definitely this will also affect their real estates, more hotel bookings, more chocolate bookings, um, more people will be visiting their resorts, um, more people will be going to Nigerian restaurants. There, there will also be more need for Nigerian restaurants and Nigerian cuisines in some of their um, hotels and restaurants. And this definitely, definitely will boom the real estate market in this, in this location and um, somehow somehow that might also affect some of the previous locations in Dubai that have been predominantly um, the visitors have been predominantly Nigerians so whenever you are investing in real estate whenever you are investing in any market basically you want to look at um, what if there is a change in that market in the next five years in the next ten years basically you must understand how to repurpose your investment so you must look at it that okay I'm looking I'm using this place for residential. Um, what if I want to repurpose for commercial? Okay, I'm using this place for commercial. Maybe currently I'm using it for um, a supermarket or a shopping mart. What if I want to repurpose for another purpose? Because you need to move with the trend. I always say it. Real estate is demand and supply. Once there is a cut in that demand, definitely it will affect um, what you can make from, from your investment. So, Kigali is booming right now. Um, Zanzibar is booming right now. There are, there are a lot of Nigerians also now going to Marrakesh in Morocco and that's because of all the restrictions that are coming coming with Dubai so is it is what it is market will always changes market market will always move as one of the factors that move this market are beyond your control so as a real estate investor you want to add repurposing to um, to your investment objective and to your, to your investment um, um, plans so um, this, this is also one of the things that we do here you know one, one, one of the things I do excellently well is um, risk analysis and um, also analyzing your return on investments regardless of whatever you are doing is land banking is cash flow is commercial lease is residential cash flow is short let i can always give you all this um list um, all this risk analysis all this repurposing all this um return on investment for 10 years 15 years 20 years so that at least whatever market trends whatever market changes happen you still make money 